I'm Mike Poppleton with the Rochester Rattlers, and today we're going to look at some face-off tips. Alright, today we're going to look at two moves for face-off guys, really focusing on clamping the ball in the sweet spot of the lacrosse head. A lot of the times the guys will clamp the ball and the ball will actually be to the middle of the lacrosse head. So these two drills really focus on clamping the ball down the line and getting the ball right into the, the heart of the lacrosse head, right in the sweet spot, right in the bottom. If you don't have the ball inside the sweet spot of the stick, a lot of times that ball will fly out. So it's really crucial to get that ball right to the bottom so that when you're coming out with the ball, it sticks in your lacrosse head. So this first drill, what we're really practicing is getting down the line and then clamping the ball right to the bottom part of the lacrosse head. So the drill really starts off by first uh, an initial whistle. Um, what we want the face-off guy to do is really just come down the line initially to get the ball really lined up almost with the ball stop of the lacrosse head. And then on that second whistle to really explode forward into the ball and into the uh, opponent. Over the course of time, we really want to start with that whistle really delayed. So whistle, whistle and then we speed it up, really focusing on coming down the line, exploding forward. And then I always like to end up with three or four face-off whistles, just the one whistle itself, really just focusing on kind of creating that triangle and just coming straight across over top of the ball into the sweet spot of the lacrosse head. A lot of guys, you know, you'll get down in your stance and you just think right away that you need to explode north-south, but really it's that, that east-west motion where you know, really coming down the line and getting the ball right to the sweet spot of the stick. It's really crucial. So this drill really overemphasizes that motion and it helps any beginner player out. The last drill that we did um, was really the two ball drill. So when setting up the two ball drill, right, the ball that's closest to you is really gonna be four inches in front of the line. And so when you line up, you're actually lining up just like you're gonna be clamping that ball on the line. And then that second ball, I usually put down the line to the right side four inches. So when you're lining up, you line up to that first one, but you're thinking inside your mind that you're going to be coming down the line clamping that second one. So it's, it's basically, it's kind of the same mechanics. We're lining up and on that second whistle, it's really just exploding right away and clamping that second ball. Um, two things, really it focuses on, again, getting that ball to the sweet spot at the bottom point of the lacrosse head. And then two, it's actually really great for any rake moves. If you're going up against a guy that does a rake and that ball's coming out, it really just focuses on getting down the line and kind of clamping where that ball is going to be. One trick too, you know, for this drill um, and even clamping the ball in general is you really want to try to get that right pinky to that right, or excuse me, to that left side of the ball. So when I'm down in my stance, I'm envisioning my right pinky to that left side of the ball. So on that whistle, I'm exploding my hand right to that left side of the ball. So once I have Mike squared up, I want to come at him and I want to jab either way and go the other way. So in this case, Mike's giving me his And that's really, really important. You want to get used to where you are in the field, how defensemen are playing you, and that just comes by practice. You really got to rep it as much as possible.